Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just about 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York on Friday at the Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. This is the final edition of the week of trending markets and we're going to end it on an interesting note. Everything is contingent in terms of the currencies, the way they have been moving on what is going to happen over this weekend in Greece, whether or not a bailout package is accepted, reforms are implemented, or possibly Greece actually leaves the European Union. Here's how we're looking at it right now. We do have the euro dollar off, off slightly, currently trading at 111 and change, 111.70 call it, putting it off about 30 points on the day. It has been trading lackluster and in a very, very tight range as we go into this weekend. US dollar, on the other hand, that is trading nominally higher, 95.37, putting it up about 18 points on the day. You can also also see this slight activity right in here as it's been extremely range bound as we await some news. Now in terms of some of the other markets that we do look at, crude oil did break back below uh, $60 per, uh, uh, per barrel, excuse me, uh, trading at $59.62. But as I said, that is a slight move on the day. Now the first thing that we'll do is if we take a look at the basic charts, and this of course is a crude oil daily chart, let's go ahead and compress this and uh, blow our candles up just a little bit. But what we can see is that more than anything else, we've almost had a flat line within the marketplace itself. Look at the range that we have seen oil trade within, really on the high side around 61, on the low side around 58. And in essence, our system is basically looking for a little bit higher pricing, possibly as high as $70 before going into a corrective period. So traders, most importantly, I do want to focus in on the euro and the US dollar since those are the two markets that we have made trade recommendations and have active trades going uh, currently. We are short the euro, we are long the US dollar. When we look at the euro, of course, I really believe that we're going to see some action and that is based upon this weekend's talks in Brussels between Greece and the European Union, whether or not they, they leave the European Union or accept the basic bailout package and basically in essence kick it down the road. When we look at this market on a technical basis, we can see that we have definitely seen this market have some real downside pressure that really implemented itself. We'd have to compress it, but it started at around 140. And we've seen this market drift lower, drifting to almost parity at about 105. And this would be that area right here. But as you can see, we've in essence put this particular price point into a set of channel lines and that is this downward channel and really what sticks out or what's really noteworthy to me is that we were trading really kind of midpoint almost. In other words, trading on the center line for quite some time, really telling us that this market had some downside pressure, but the downside pressure kept it right within the channel. From there, of course, we saw it make a play for the lower end of this channel. The first move down took you down to about just below 110. It comes back up almost to the midpoint once again. And then what we saw was back in what, April, call it, yeah, April of this year, we saw it really go from the lower end of the channel to the upper end of the channel or almost going back to the midline and now back to this upper level right here. My sense is that we are going to see this market now trade back to at least the midpoint of this channel, if not break through. And my sense is that there is the opportunity, depending on how all of this plays out, for the euro dollar actually to go to parity or closer to parity than we have seen when this market was trading roughly at 105, that really being the lowest we saw the euro dollar trade throughout this entire year. The other thing that's obviously been present within the euro dollar has been market consolidation as they await some sort of recent news. This being our half a day chart right here, 720 minutes. It has been range bound, but nonetheless trading within this downward sloping channel 
I believe that that channel should continue as we see lower pricing. We also have our moving average convergence divergence still moving to the downside with our two moving averages moving apart. That to me, this gives it some strength. However, you've got a real weakness in the trend when you look at candle size as it relates to the half a day candle. However, I do recommend that we maintain our current short position and maintain our current stops in the euro throughout the weekend. Lastly, I do want to look at the dollar. We did make a recommendation, although it wasn't actually a trade alert that we sent out, but we did recommend in the show that you can also go long the dollar as a reciprocal trade to the euro dollar. I did get a email yesterday from one of our subscribers that took the call and actually asked where we would place our stops. And really what I said was that just as within the euro dollar, we had that terrific move down, we put it above that move itself this is that terrific move up the the corresponding move that we saw in the dollar so you want to place your stops really below this point and so this is at around i believe 94.25 in that area so you want your stops below the low of this particular candle again as we await you can see that over these last three trading days we have had very very slight moves in the market really consolidating as we await some news i really believe that this this weekend is going to prove to be a most interesting weekend as we get some sort of either a resolution or non-resolution to the current crisis in Greece as it relates to a payment which is coming due at the end of this month. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you on Monday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.